Hey guys, how's it going? Got another uh, video for you. As you can see, I got a nice new knife. I got this in the mail yesterday. Um, I just wanted to do a video to uh, basically show it off and um, just put it out there. Uh, I'm not going to be uh, doing a review on this right now. I have just got it, so I, I'm really just still playing around with it and uh, getting to know it. Um, and I honestly don't know really what the specifications are offhand, so I uh, don't have anything substantive to really tell you. But uh, I just wanted to give you a look at it. As you can see, this is a Les George VECP. This is the DLC um, special, edi uh, special Edition Monkey Edge version. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. I've been wanting one of these since I've seen it. Uh, for the first time this spring when Monkey Edge had them and uh, I was just lucky enough the other day to be browsing their site and uh, they had one so I snatched it up it's a really sweet knife really liking it it's just it's a very high quality knife the attention to detail on this thing is really really nice um, really good build quality the stone wash on this uh, handle is just really incredible it's probably the deepest stone wash I've ever seen um, especially with like that uh, I don't know if he um, acid washes it first or uh, stone, uh, bead blasts it or sand blasts it but it's got kind of like a, a, a dark gray um, matte finish that's been uh, stone washed over and it's just it's really nice this would definitely be a really good carry knife um, you know you wouldn't ever have to worry about getting any you know scratches or anything on the handle or the clip because uh, it's, you're never gonna be able to discern them uh, from this stone wash and it's got the uh, DLC the, the PVD uh, coated um, process um, don't know much about it um, but uh, that's the method they use to put the DLC coating on it and it's supposed to be a really good uh, method uh, it's supposed to really put the DLC on there pretty good and make it very resistant and um, I believe Strider uses that method also um, so yeah it's just really really nice looking knife it's got a nice action it's really smooth um, you can see it's got a matching black pivot but then all the other hardware here is uh, your your satin finish. Um, kind of wish it was all black, but I mean it's not really a big deal. And then oddly enough, on the other side, the 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 back of the pivot's actually satin as well. So just I guess just the screw is going to be black, and the uh, the back of it's going to be satin. You've got these um, really over uh, oversized thumb studs. They're really nice though, got nice uh, um, texture on them. They're really large. Um, I'm kind of surprised actually about how uh, I thought this knife might be a little bit beefier than it actually is. It's actually pretty uh, um, average, I'd say, as far as beefiness goes. The blade uh, stock is actually even thinner than this Strider SNG, um, which I mean is a good and a bad thing. I mean. If you want to use this as an EDC, um, it's a good thing because it keeps the weight down and you don't need a thick blade for EDC. Uh, but if you wanted to use this as like a, a hardcore, you know, tactical knife or whatever, you know, you might want or appreciate the uh, the thicker blade. But, uh, you know, I don't mind it at all. It's really nice. Um, but here's just a quick size comparison to the SNG. Basically the same size closed opened as well they're about the same size so if you, if you have an SNG and you're wondering how large the uh, Les George VECPs are it's pretty much identical here's a uh, Chris Reeves tie lock by the way this is still for sale the tie lock if anyone's interested here's a, a ZT560 you can see it's a little bit smaller than the ZT560. The uh, the blade is really nice shape. 
Um, it's got a, a nice run of jimping up here. Uh, I really like it. It's pretty functional. Um, and it's not overly aggressive, which is nice. And it's a, it's a really long run. You can see it's, it's about an inch and a half uh, of jimping. So that's pretty nice. It gives you nice traction all the way up to the, to the edge here. Um, the blade's got a, a, a swedge on the spine. So that's pretty nice detail. And the blade came really, really sharp out of uh, the box. So that's nice also. Um, the lockup is it's a little bit uh, further than I would prefer. I like my lockups really early. But, uh, I mean, it's about 50, I'd say 50%, a good 50%. Um, and it's uh, pretty easy to disengage so long as you don't, uh, you know, flick it out. When you flick it out, it, it gets a little bit sticky. I really would uh, have preferred to have the lock bar carbonized. Well, actually, I'm not even sure. I'm just, whoops, I was going to get my flashlight, but it dropped. I'm assuming that it's not carbonized because uh, just of how, how sticky it is, but who knows. Um, so yeah, I think it would be beneficial to have this thing carbonized. But it's a good solid lockup. No blade play in any which direction. You've got uh, a nice G10 um, backspacer here. Kind of like a, uh, a gear pattern type thing going on. Just a really nice knife. Really glad I picked it up. It's got a pretty cool pocket clip, uh, pocket clip kind of like a, uh, a spoon shape. All right, well that's pretty much it for this mo uh, <laughs> this movie, for this video. Um, I imagine I'll do another uh, video with a more in-depth look at this thing with some of the specifications later on, but I just want to give you a uh, look at it real quick. So thanks for watching and have a good one.